So in the next three to five minutes, I'll be giving you exactly all you need to know to start winning a lot of your games, dominating and ranking up playing the God tier champion of season 14. That's Belveth right there. Well, hello, hello, my friends. I hope season 14 has been a blast for you. I hope you're excited and you're having fun. And even if you aren't, even if you're struggling, know that it's okay and it's normal. I am here to help. There has been so many changes, so many new things, completely different playstyle in the jungle, new itemization, new pathing, everything is a little different. Even the map itself has changed. So this is why I'm here and let's cover it all together in this video for Belveth. We will be covering her optimal builds and what works in what situations, runes as well as pathing, gameplay, key combos, and how to consistently carry on her, really. Right before I get started with everything, I just want to mention real quick that I am streaming daily over on Twitch starting around 2 or 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'm trying to grind for Twitch partner over there. So any people that hop over and uh, want to enjoy the streams would be totally appreciated and it would be awesome. Also, I would like to mention that Patreon content will finally be returning with weekly educational content with me and my editor working on it hard. And if you're interested, content will begin there hopefully next week. So for now, consider joining in as a uh, free member. You can actually do that there. All right, so for Belveth, for build, I will be explaining everything using my written guide over on Mobifier, which should be, which should see on the screen. And it's also linked in the description. So first off, you notice I always go green smite on Belveth and I stack it with overheal in my runes as well as conquer and the other things that I take, which are relentless and eyeball helping me snowball. The idea with the overheal green smite is that they synergize amazingly together especially when you finish your green smite you have a double shield stacked up together and that overheal never gets broken you stack it walk around with it the whole time until you go into fights why because the green smite shield goes above it and it keeps that overheal from breaking because that's the one that's breaking all the time that's the one you're tanking your camps on and then every time you tank a camp or anything your your shield resets on the green smite so you never use up the overheal until a fight and you're just like walking around with 450 shield it's pretty amazing for a squishy champ like Belveth and most of her builds. All right, so for uh, first item, I pretty much always go Kraken Slayer with uh, Belveth. I try to get a Noon Quiver back whenever I can, but if I can't, two long swords and boots or two long swords dagger are totally fine. For her boots, obviously steel caps into uh, auto attack heavy champions and AD heavy comps. Mercury's into comps with a lot of CC and magic damage. When it comes to res magic resist items, I think the Wits End and the Keenic item are very strong. I would like to add that Maw is a great option too, but these two seem to be amazing right now in Season 14. Now, when you need armor, I've been really liking Randwin's Omen, but that sounds is a great option too, and obviously the Boots. Guardian Angel is not that great, honestly. I would put it as the last option, really. I would prefer the other two. Now, let me cover up what the real builds are and what you want to do. So, the Snowball you build for Belveth and the one you would do when you're ahead is Kraken into Bork. That one is an amazing two item power spike and you can do so much with it. After you get those two items, this is where you start being very creative with your builds. And you have many options like Shredricker for kiting, Black Cleaver for tanky comps, and you can even take Terminus, which is a great item for many situations where you're facing assassins and burst champions. So you have a couple of example on screen right now. There's another standard build that a lot of people are running and that's just Kraken into Terminus versus assassins, Kraken into Stridebreaker. When you're a little bit behind or just like not snowballing as good and don't want to be squishy with a crack and bork two item spike finally i would like to cover one more build that is actually insanely powerful if you end up against eight heavy ad comps or full ad comps you will literally be unkillable and a damage dealing machine you want to run Kraken into Bork with Iceborne Gauntlet. And you can actually not build the Bork right away. If you're a little bit behind, you can go Kraken into Iceborne and then build the Bork as a third item. Now, after you have these three, this is where you're going to go into a couple situationals. But some great options are definitely the Titanic Hydra, the Randwind's Omen, and the Death Dance. I would also say Styrax is great. Now, if they're actually totally full 580 champions, you might just want to go iceborne titanic and end it with a randwind's omen you'll be unkillable guaranteed from me and you will absolutely won't be done every fight now when it comes to your ability leveling on belveth her q is her bread and butter the dashes just make her absolutely too strong and too amazing in the mobile so you want to max those first and then into your e which is going to increase your resistances and finally you'll just max your w last all right, now into the playstyle and pathing for Belveth. This is a really important section, so pay attention. It's going to only take two to three minutes. Pathing, you have two options. You either do a three camp and look into ganks. I do this often going Raptors, Golems, 
red buff into nearby lanes and then hopefully I get a kill if I don't either way I back and run to the opposite side and try to skirmish the jungler either on my buff if he's trying to steal it if I'm there in time or just skirmish on the scuttle or even consider invading that jungler if possible in some cases the other option is just going for a full clear and aiming to get level 6 as soon as possible so that you can use the power of your form ASAP especially with those void grubs they give you a 3 minute form and you can get it real early and snowball really hard it's quite important we'll talk about it in a bit now the key to Belveth in general General and something to remember when you're playing Bob is her powerful early game. You have four dashes, a dash reset, an airborne, a slow, lifesteal, execute, damage reduction. Oh my god, wait, what are you even missing? And you, all of that at level three. You can pretty much fight any jungler. You can invade any jungler and you can look for so many ganks. You can pressure any lane that is pushing up. All you have to do is watch your map often and always pay attention to two net lanes that are near you and consider if you can gank them. Also, please do not go for 50-50s. Do not fall behind early. If you do, you're just going to make life hard on yourself with a snowball -like champion like this all you need is one or two kills and zero death and you're already on your way to absolutely dominate the game as soon as you're level six and snowballing with form so keep all of this in mind now when you end up getting your level 6, this is when you're actually looking to keep your forms going, either get, getting void grubs or getting heralds, dragons, whatever it is, or even just kills, and pushing your lead further, killing enemies, taking objectives, towers, and slowly getting to that victory screen. A big key, like I said, is to never die and never give your shutdown. Trust me, it will make life way harder and sometimes absolutely lose you the game. You could lose a game being 10 and 1, and I would say 90% of the time it's actually your fault because you gave a thousand gold to the enemies and allowed them to come back. Oh yeah, and speaking of the Void Grubs earlier, Season 14, they are treating Belveth like a queen queen that she is. Void Grubs giving her a 3 minute form at 5 minutes is insane. Honestly you can't get it at 5 minutes though you need to get level 6 so probably around 7 minutes. Just make sure that you are keeping that worded because many junglers are trying to sneak those Void Grubs very early on and try to strong side your top lane unless you have some Kale top or something. Otherwise playing for those Void Grubs early on and getting that form on Belveth is going to be absolutely monstrous and the Void Grubs are actually a absolutely really good buff and it would be okay to trade a dragon for them maybe even two dragons honestly in some games if you're able to snowball with those forms totally worth it plus really all you need really to get those void jobs is just getting a kill on mid lane or top lane and then bringing that laner along with you to try to do them sometimes you might actually need to invade the jungler and just create pressure there get some vision any sort of setup with some lane pressure and you can just pick up those void jobs and get your form easily all right this was a big big section about everything on belveth so i hope it was great and helpful to you i am sure if you paid attention if you took notes and if you apply all the tips that i gave you you will absolutely dominate with belveth in season 14 just remember everything and keep trying to improve every game you will go far and watch closely as how i actually dominate my own games with her i will have many youtube videos coming soon about all my champions in season 14 and more belveth gameplay so keep your eyes opened and peeled three videos a week make sure to sub or to like the video if you enjoy it comment what you would like to see or what you're enjoying as a build in season 14 just let me know what, what's going on did you even tell me your season 14 goal Goals. One last thing, check out the Patreon if you want. Check out the Twitch, also linked in bio, or sorry, description. I'm used to Instagram. But yeah, I'll see you guys next one.